You want to know more about my Sierra Chartbook settings? In this video, I am showing you all my chart windows I'm using for my analysis and for my trading. And I will also walk you through some settings. This video is more advanced. And for the people who are already familiar with trading, familiar with Sierra charts and want to deep dive into this topic. Hello, my name is Philip from Enlupo.com and let's get started and jump into Sierra chart. So when I open my Sierra chart here, first thing I see is first of all, this trade service log and the message log. Well, this is only from Sierra chart and um, we can minimize this. The third window you see here is the future contracts I am mostly trading. Usually I only trade S&P 500, um, a mini contract. And here you can see also the volume, which is important to know because we want to trade the most liquid contract. The next thing I'm also looking at is um, time and sales. First of all, here on the left side and then here um, the dome, the depth of market on the right side. So time and sales is just a simple spreadsheet. You can see all the orders here coming in um, to this uh, session. And here on the depth of market, you can also see like the transacted um, volume on the left side. So we have here the VPOC um, point of control from the volume where the most volume was transacted. And then we can also see the current price levels. You can see here the spread is only one tick even though we are in the early morning session. And um, of course, then you can see here the order book, the limit orders on the buy side and the limit orders on um, the sell side. And then always the transacted volume here printed at every single price level. So this depth of market um, is pretty interesting to see how many uh, bids and offers orders are there on um, the sell and the buy side. But we have to know that these offers are only limit orders. So they are, of course, influenced by algorithms and other big market participants um, yeah, trying to push the price to one or the other direction. So these are not filled orders. And well, I don't care that much about these levels. By the way, all the things are based here on the depth of market. So there is no hidden indicator. Everything here, what I gonna cover in today's video is based on the depth of market. The next window I'm constantly observing and always having open is the footprint. And here you can see the footprint in the Renko chart here at the top Renko eight ticks. So each box is eight ticks tall. And this is a Renko chart because um, I want to see the footprint to accumulate volume. So this means here you can see um, the Renko chart eight ticks. So every eight ticks when this range is um, overtaken, then it's going to print a new candle. So for example, here we can we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the ninth tick, it's going to print a new candle by this it accumulates volume pretty good. And you can also see here the swings in the footprint. What you else can see in the footprint is the delta. So the transacted volume at every price level. Here we see, for example, 61 sell offers got transacted at this price level. And on the um, other hand, 37 buy contracts got transacted at this price um, buy level. And the delta between these two, so the difference is minus 24. And this is going to be this number. Below, there is a simple spreadsheet. And here, this spreadsheet um, just shows the overall delta. So the overall transactions um, taking place in one candle, just accumulating. Accumulating all the sell sides, all the buy sides, and then this is the delta. Um, which for this candle is negative and it is negative minus 170. That means in this candle, there were 170 more contracts sold than buy orders. Of course, 
overall they are always the same amount of transaction taking place because when somebody is selling somebody else has to buy the order but this shows like the market orders so people showing aggression then there's the delta change here below and this shows um, just the difference between the current candle to the previous candle so the previous candle in delta was minus 807 the current candle is minus 170 so the difference between those two numbers is 637. then below here we have the max and the min delta these two numbers are just showing the delta while the candle is building so first of all the candle starts for example with five buy contracts then um, the max delta is five buy contracts second um, trades for example they sell two sell contracts the overall data for the candle changes to three contracts so then the min delta is three this just shows also like imbalances within one candle so for example here in this candle there it shows both max delta and min delta was negative so there were only sellers here in this candle and then there is this delta percent here in the bottom and um, it just shows all the sellers here in this market and all the buyers in this market um, and building a percentage out of it so this is a pretty useful tool especially for day traders who are or scalpers who are trading the intraday swings and um, yeah want to read and to look behind the scenes and to see the real transactions of market participants the third window i'm using is the chart and this chart has like one main um, indicator in the middle or one main line in the middle it's not an indicator it's the vwap it's called the volume weighted average price and as the name said this line is building up with weighting the volume and the transacted time when the vwap is flat there are equal transactions taking place above the vwap and below the vwap um, so it's going to be a balanced day when the vwap goes up then the, this means that there are more transactions above the vwap than below the vwap the next thing you can see here is these lines or these areas this is just standard deviation from the vwap here on the right you can see um, the volume profile from the current day this volume profile for example shows the previous day so yesterday and here you can see um, the current day so it's early morning session uh, for the s p 500 not that many transactions already taken place you can see here this very very small volume profile and also um, the viva here it's just starting every day from um, the current price level where the market opens below here you can see the cumulative delta so cumulative delta what does it mean it means that for each candle what we see here there is also a cumulative delta candle so let's zoom in a little bit as mentioned here you can see the cumulative delta on the right side there is the transacted volume so only market orders here which is zero and so currently you can see that cumulative delta for today is negative so there were more sellers on the market orders than buyers and this means uh, it accumulates all the transactions and this means that if we see here a white candle then for this individual candle there were more buyers on the market side than sellers if we see a red candle then there were aggression on the sell side and um, more sellers as mentioned already i i'm not using any minute based charts or any time related charts this is the only chart i'm using and uh, this chart is volume based you can see this here at the top with this small number um, volume based so here you can see 2000 volumes per candle i know 
Also, some other traders, they like to trade S&P 500 with 5000 transacted volume per candle. I prefer 2000 because by this I can see um, a little bit more the swing highs and the swing lows. These chart settings, for example, you can find here under chart, chart drawings, and then bar period. And here under bar period, you can find the volume per bar. So this is um, exactly what I am, what I, uh, what I want to have. And um, here the bar period from my point of view is 2000 per bar. Of course, you can also change it to 5000, uh, apply it. And then it prints you the chart in 5000 volume candles. So of course, now we have less candles on this chart and also here less candles on the accumulative delta. As you can see here, um, swing highs and swing lows are, of course, they are there, but um, and not that much in detail. That's why I like to use 2000 volume per day. I can also change here to minute based charts. So um, this is then the settings, days, minutes, seconds, milliseconds. And um, for example, the five minute based chart would be this settings 050 for a five minute based chart. But let's change back to volume and uh, the 2000. The other thing what I also like to have here is this is not a standard candlestick chart. This is Heike Nashi candlesticks. Um, you can deep dive into this and read about what is the difference um, about uh, Heike Nashi compared to standard candlestick charts. I prefer this type of candles because this gives me um, a little bit more uh, visualized information where the swing is going, um, not to grab a falling knife and not to enter too early in the market. The last thing and probably the most important for building your hypothesis for the day and um, knowing in which direction you like to trade is here market profile settings on daily charts. As mentioned in the previous video for support and resistance lines, I'm using here this market profile. So this is only US trading hours. And um, here you can see yesterday's um, candle or yesterday's chart, for example. Let's zoom in a little bit. And here you can see, for example, the last two trading days um, as a block market profile. There's also the possibility to print these as letters. I prefer the block. That's enough information for me. So here you can see um, the open price, then the point of control where the most transactions took place during this session, then the closing price here, and then these um, lines. So first of all, the POC, this red line, and then 70% standard deviation. These two lines where 70% of the transacted market time took place during US opening hours. And as mentioned already, I use this to define my composites, my hypothesis for the day, uh, merge it with previous market profile. So for example, I would merge these two days. Market profile looks kind of okay. And um, for the upcoming day, this would be my um, contextual value area with um, the support line here at the level of 4,400 and uh, the, re the resistance at the top of 4,424. This market profile is, for example, one of the most important things because it gives you um, the context of the day. There is one important chart missing um, and this is the trade execution uh, window. So always here, there is also this little um, trade execution window open. And here you can um, see my, I can define my targets. Uh, target here is 32 ticks currently, and my stop is 10 ticks away uh, from my entry order. And usually I go with limit orders in the market, press buy and sell if I want to go below, if I go, want to go long or short. If you like this content, please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel or leave a comment below. If you have any questions, 
I really appreciate it. And for example, do another video about um, my trading platform and or, or about how I'm seeing the markets. By the way, if you are interested in this kind of topics and want to deep dive in, currently I'm in the process of building my own day trading course. You can go to my website in lupu.com and under products you will find the day trading course and I am planning to have 14 individual mod modules uh, in this course covering everything what you need to know from starting your trading career, doing all the things from market theory, raw data, of course you get all the tools, um, volume profile, cumulative data, footprint and then we put everything together and um, do a proper risk and money management and entry and exit strategy. So if you are interested in this kind of course, there is currently an early bird prize for the first five people who are booking this course. I'm planning to have everything ready by the 1st of September, maybe end of August. And as mentioned, only the first bookings have this early bird prize. Once everything is set up, then um, probably this is going to be um, worth a little bit more. Check it out and I'm really looking forward to teach you all my knowledge, show you all the tools in um, the videos and of course we will also have live sessions where you can ask your questions directly to me. At the end, I wish you successful trading the markets. Always manage your risk, stay tuned and bye bye.